Hi, this is Jack with Torque Clipper International. Today we're going to show you how easy it is to drill the lower overload spring on your vehicle. Whether you have a, a pickup truck, an SUV, a motorhome, passenger car, whatever kind of rig you have, as long as you have the lower overload spring, uh, we're going to show you how easy it is today to drill out those lower overloads. Now keep in mind, a lot of uh, vehicles, especially your pickup trucks, will come with the holes already pre-existing in the lower overload. If that's the case, uh, you would use a torque lift part number A7310, and that is a no-drill application. The first thing you're going to want to do is pull all the parts out of your kit and familiarize yourself uh, with the pieces and thoroughly read your instruction booklet. As you can see from the installation instructions, the only thing you're going to need besides your basic hand tools uh, is going to be a low-speed drill and some cutting oil or motor oil. We've put a simple butterfly shutoff valve in the airline prior to the drill so we can regulate the air pressure going to the drill to slow the drill speed down. That's a pretty simple way of reducing the RPM uh, of your drill motor. To maintain the life of the drill bits, you really need to be in that two to 300 RPM speed. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure out the leaf spring and we're going to mark the leaf spring in all four spring points. You're going to mark the front and the rear on the driver's side. You're going to mark the front and the rear on the passenger side, one inch in from the end of the leaf spring as we're doing here. The next thing you're going to want to do is take your drill and oil up the bit and then go ahead and begin to drill the hole and the first point, uh, the first hole that you're going to drill on your spring. Now it's critically important that that drill bit stays oiled every five to ten seconds. If you don't stop and oil that drill bit every five to ten seconds, you're going to damage the drill bit within a real short period of time and uh, the installation is going to be difficult. The other thing that's critically important with this hardened spring steel is that you apply a very solid pressure. You should be applying a uh, relatively high force enough almost, depending on your application, where that spring should be deflecting up. Typically on a pickup truck, you're going to move that, by pushing up on that uh, overload spring, you're going to move it up as much as a quarter of an inch. Now the other thing that's important, as you're drilling and you're stopping and re-oiling every five to ten seconds, and you're applying that high pressure to that drill, is that you don't drill all the way through the top of the spring. What's going to happen is you're going to come near the top of the hole and there's going to be a little dimple that's going to form on top the top surface of that overload, as you can see here. Once you see that dimple form, you want to stop on that particular hole and go to the next hole. Once you've dimpled the top surface of the overload, on all four of the points you're drilling, you're going to go back to the original hole and you're going to go ahead and, and uh, drill that hole so it passes all the way through the lower overload. Once you've done that, you're going to repeat the process on the remaining three holes and then you're going to go ahead and carry on with your, the rest of your installation by bolting the stable loads in position. For more information on the stable load products or any of the other torque lift products, you can check us out on the web at www.torquelift.com or for live tech support, you can call us at 1-800-246-8132.